Hi guys, so that's not vodka. That's a box from the antique store. Anyway, um, we are here at Island Thrift in Medford, if you're local. It is Sunday, so um, there's like eight or so, six half price color tickets, something crazy, maybe eight, I don't know. Anyway, um, I had to run to the supermarket to just pick up a few things for little man's lunches for the week. And I was like, I haven't been to this one in a really long time. So we're gonna hop in and see if we can find anything fun. Uh, I called my mom and she's like, well, what are you looking for? I was like, nothing, green glass, I don't know. So we're just gonna run in for fun, see what we can find. I don't wanna spend too, too long here. I don't wanna waste my Sunday. So um, let's go in. All right, I'm going to start with the jewelry here, but these are all black tags or white tags, whatever you want to call them. So these actually never go half price. I'm just kind of scanning through. Nothing is immediately catching my eye. And I would have to like get somebody to unlock this. This one looks kind of cool, but can't see the price either. I'm sure it's super high. <laughs> Some of these look cool, but again, they price them super high here. And this is an all for-profit thrift store, privately owned. No charity benefit or anything. $78.99. Okay. Yes. All right. I've moved on a little bit. I remember these. I feel like these were all over in the 80s. $1.99. It's just right, right on the velvet. This little trinket box is cute. That's kind of sweet. But that's very modern. This little cameo piece. Mount Clemens, made in China. This bell. Now this shoe, this that's not even a shoe, it's a slipper and it's $3.99. It does have this gouge in it here. But this is like so cool. And I actually stopped to try to like look these up and find them and I can't find anything like that. I'm probably gonna regret not putting that in my cart, but you are an adorable mouse. Oh, Fitz and Floyd. Wow, two ninety nine. Collector's plates galore. This kitty looks to have some age to it. And it's falling apart from the inside out. $3.99. By the way, the half price solid tickets today are blue and yellow. So keep. Oh, hi, you're a pepper shaker. This guy. Is that Russian? I don't. I'm terrible with stuff like that. This glass banana made in China. $3.99. That's, it's got a Capa de Monte look to it. I can't make any of that out <laughs> at all. So it, it may very well be. I have no idea. It's so fragile. This little Pillsbury Doughboy, 2003. And these are cool. These are like leather. $4.99 for the four. I found this milk glass lamp with wood and I'm trying to find a place to plug it in. <laughs> so bear with me one second. And in case you were wondering, it does work. So for $4.99, I'm gonna take it. This glass has bubbles. 
Here's this beautiful hand-painted cruet, and it says an original creation by KB. Now, KB was one of the um, designers in Murano, so it is possible that this piece originates from Murano. And uh, this little girl is catching my eye. It's like a pink frosted glass. I don't know. It's got a weird mark on the bottom, like almost like a pouted pursed lip you say there's 58 on both of it i don't know what that is <clears throat> this is a parmesan sugar 2.99 it's like a sugar shaker or something japan it says made in japan which means it's more modern china Anything else good here? Not really. Now, this plate, not for $8.99, no. And then there's this, I guess it's a deviled egg holder, Japan. And this basket is Germany, but $14.99. It's a thrift store, not an antique mall, but they think differently. And should I rescue this Pyrex for $4.99? There's some scratches on it. Should I rescue it? I think I'm going to rescue it. You come home with me, okay? Okay. I have friends there for you. Now this is... I don't know why, but it is catching my eye. I'm just trying to see if it's flashed or not. There are no markings on the bottom. It has some age to it. I don't know how much age, and I'm trying to closely look to see if it's flashed. And I, I still can't tell, but I suspect it is. And they want $4.99 for that. And then this little crystal miniature vase, no markings, $1.99. This is interesting, cut glass, $8.99. These stone bookends look cool too, $8.99, <laughs> I can't. Now this, look at this, $10.99 though. I mean, that's a pretty special piece, but <sighs> that's a little crazy. A little crazy. And this little Lennox piece, $3.99. China. This little kitty sponge holder. <clears throat> this little pot is adorable. Redware. $4.99 on the birds. This looks promising. $2.99. It's signed. $69. I'm loving that. It's got a very smooth pontal, pontal scar. This little frosted blue basket. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's a 15. I can't. I can't. This is super cute for $4.99. This little milk glass ashtray, I guess, $1.99. On second thought, I'm... Ah, gosh, that's actually not bad for this place. I probably should have just gotten it. Fire and light, just kidding. Just kidding. It's not. And this, $4.99, half, but look at all the flashings coming off. Oh, this is, this is blown. That's cool. And this thing. It's like a little uh, wine bottle coaster. It's 
this carnival glass bowl, $6.99. Now that would be half today. So that's not bad, but I really need to research my carnival glass better. These are really, really catching my attention. These are hand blown mugs for $8.99 for the four. And then we have this little blown pitcher for $3.99. Now this is a very pretty piece. This is Fire King. Wow, $4.99. I don't know what this pressed glass is, $6.99. Is that a tennis racket? And what do you do with it? It's just decorative? It's interesting. Now this definitely has some age to it. I do spot its pair, its partner down the road. $3.99 a piece, because why would you price a pair together? Speaking of pricing pairs together, there's this beautiful, I don't know what this is, some type of stone, uh, $3.99. Trying to get a closer look at it. It's not broken, it's just made roughly. And here's its partner. And of course, it is priced separately because let's not encourage buying pairs together or anything. I'm sorry, I'm a little snarky today. This is very nice. $3.99. It is, I think it's, I think it's hand blown, but looks a little mass produced to me. And I, I do have my light, so you can rest assured I am looking for uranium everywhere. That is mass produced. And this, oh, could you just cry? Could you cry? That's anchor hawking, but phew, that pattern is a thing of history because someone put it in the dishwasher. This is Pyrex, six ninety nine half. This makes me wonder if that had a pattern at all at some point. And another little stone. This is like marble. I don't know what's all jammed in there, but this is that's pretty nice. It's like marble or granite. Three ninety nine half. It's just a little like tchotchke piece. This is. I'm assuming that's Japan, unless it's Spain, but I don't think so. I'm looking for vintage Christmas. This little guy's a wine bottle holder, $3.99. I'm finding that vintage Christmas is harder and harder to find around me. I guess it's like all the rage. I don't know what this is. Whoops. Santa down. Okay. And this. Oh, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't like those stickers. Look at the water in this. Ugh. That's so sad. I'm going to guess this is actually Mikasa. I'm pretty certain. The bottom looks identical to the angel I have. Here is a single elephant bookend made in China. It is cute, though. And one bookend is fine. You can just put it at the end of a row of books on your shelf. And this is not Christmas, but I'm kind of drawn to it. This little cow creamer. I do love creamers, and I don't have a cow one, and I feel like I need a cow one. So it is $3.99, but it may have to come home. And I don't know. Two ninety nine on the plumber. <laughs> That's weird. Ten ninety. No, what is that? Eighteen ninety nine. Okay. All right. It's probably made in China. And it was like $2 at the dollar store. 
This is Fitz and Floyd, and um, yeah, probably should have brought that home. And this is um, House of Lloyd, ninety two for two ninety nine. It's musical. That's that's actually fair. Like this place makes no sense at all. That's actually a very sweet piece. And House of Lloyd is is really good. They make some very quality things. I'm not seeing anything that's grabbing me. Yeah, no, this is underwhelming. All right, moving on. These are super cool. Barbecue Time by Matt McGuire, ambiance, but $2.99 each. Eh, it's a little steep for something you just see and think is cute, you know? This might be the greatest thing I've seen in this entire store. This ride-on horse, bouncy horse. I don't know if it's old or not. Either way, if it's new, they're like $150 or more. This is $18.99, and it takes everything in me not to get it and throw it in my car right now. So, that was okay. I found some things. I got Brett three different bins to choose from because he said he needed like a smaller one. Anyway, I stopped filming after a while because I was getting so irritated in there. Like not only was it super crowded, so you just you couldn't move. Um, but you know, you probably know how it goes when a lot of people like to act like they're the only ones in the store. So they will like leave their cart in the middle of the aisle and then go elsewhere or, you know, like, and you can't get through. Like, so it was like anxiety inducing and like very irritating and annoying. Um, and then they had like, there'll be people with like five kids and um, they just let them completely run amok while the parent like took their sweet time shopping. And, you know, it was, I don't know. They use the store as a babysitter type deal. So my head is like killing me right now because there was kids like screaming at the top of their lungs. It was just bad. Uh, so yeah, my head hurts. That was not as pleasant as it I would have liked it to be. But anyway, um, yeah, I did find some cool things, I think. I will show you them all uh, in this video, most likely. So I'll see you guys a little later. Okay guys, I'm here with the haul. I know the light is weird. I'm sitting by the glow of the space heater right now in the sunroom. <laughs> little man is inside napping. He is very, very sick. Um, he did test negative for you know what, um, but he's very, very sick. Um, so anyway, he hasn't been to school since Tuesday. Tuesday was his last day at school. I just uh, sat outside and filmed a huge blessings by mail and I'm losing natural light. So we're inside with weird light and uh, I have the island thrift haul for you. So I'm trying to bang everything out. So because I have a lot in the wings, so to speak, but let's get started. Let me show you what I picked up from the walkthrough you just watched. So the first thing I picked up, you saw me kind of contemplate in the store. It was a little bit of a ripoff, but it's fine. It's this kind of sage color. I know the lighting in here is terrible. I've already admitted that. Uh, the sage color Pyrex bowl, and it was $4.99. Um, it's not terrible. It's got like normal wear on it. $4.99. I rescued it. I'm okay with that. The next thing I decided to pick up, um, I don't, I didn't show this in the walkthrough, but it is this insulated coffee pot like you know just thermos um and it is spode it is in fact spode you see the santa here and you see that little mistletoe um that is that spode all day long so when you see that you know it's spode um it's actually not marked spode at all um but it absolutely is if you if you research it this is it um and they're pretty pricey they're like 30 40 dollars i think so I paid $2.99 full price for this. The half price colors this trip, what did I say they were? Like blue and green? Blue and, no, not green. Blue and yellow, I think. I think. But of course, everything I picked up was orange or green. But 
such is life. So I picked this up. I'm actually happy to see it's $2.99 because you'll see in my savers haul, I found another one for $2.99 and I thought I paid $3.99 for mine, but $2.99 for this glass, classic Christmas tree candy jar. I don't have one. I had picked one up at a thrift store years ago and it's become part of my mom's Christmas decor, but I don't have one and I needed one. So now I had my own for $2.99 and I'm happy with it. And I'm even happier that it was $2.99 because like I said, at Savers, I saw one for $2.99 and I was like, dang it, I paid $3.99 for mine. No, I didn't. Excellent. Next funny story. We had one of these for sale. My step grandmother had one of these for sale. Um, well, it was hers and it was for sale at the estate sale and my stepfather and I didn't know what it was. We charged $5 for it because we could tell it was vintage. We could tell it was wood. I don't know. And um, <clears throat> then like the second customer of the day was this little old man and he bought it. So I said, I have to ask you, what is it? So he told me it's a bookshelf, an adjustable bookshelf that you can sit down on a surface. And I was like, that's fantastic. So once I found out what it was, I was kind of upset for selling it but I just found my own. It's not my step grandmother's, unfortunately, but it was $2.99. And now I have my own now that I know what it is. So fantastic. The next item I picked up is this milk glass lamp with this little wood detail in there. I don't know. What do you think this is from? 70s, 60s, 70s? I don't know. Let me know. But it absolutely does work. I'll show you the plug in case you know about these things. It's got some age to it, right? I think it's definitely got some age to it. 60s, 70s, don't know which one. 50s would be awesome, but I don't think it is with that wood. But again, what do I know? But I plug, plug it in, it does work. I do need one of those shades that'll go with this aesthetic of, of the milk glass that just clip onto the bulb um, because this lamp doesn't take a, uh, what are they called? Like harp or whatever? I don't remember what they're called, but you know, you know what I mean. It just doesn't take that. So I need to find one of those that clip directly onto the bulb that'll kind of match with the size and the look of this, but $4.99 for sure, especially for that place. Overpriced privately owned thrift store. I thought that was amazing. Some things they just don't know about still. Some things they go crazy with. Next, if you watch me, one of the other things that I have a little bit of an issue with, although I'm kind of super selective, I only pick really cool ones that I find really cool are creamers. And the one thing I don't have shocking what in the world is that what is that i can't use that if that's in here uh -oh. what is that what the fuck is that <sighs> okay um a bell just fell out of her which is pretty amazing because I wonder if it was tied. I'm like, what is jingling? If that's ceramic, I cannot serve people with this. It was a bell and the little ringer is in there. The little ding dinger, I don't know what they're called, but you know what I mean. The little swingy part of the bell. So I'm wondering if I could put a ribbon on her. Was this hers? That's fantastic. Anyway, I don't have a cow. So she does have a couple of little flea bites as they're called, just little dingy dings and another little flea bite on the lip looks slightly like a herp, but it's okay. Um, and I liked her cause she was brown. I usually see them in white, although she's got pretty large, she needs to be milked badly. So I guess that's what this is for. Um, I don't know the brand. I don't know anything. There are no markings. I just loved her and she was $3.99 full price. So now I have a cow creamer in brown. How now brown cow? Very excited. Then I found this um, divided Pyrex serving dish. Um, I found one that I show in the walkthrough that was $6.99 half price. Where is the price on this? It fell off. That's so weird. Um, so it was $6.99 half, half price. So it would have been $3.50, but this was at, oh wait, here we go. It's, it's, the sticker's not there, but it's written in yellow, $4.99 half price. Same exact thing. So this was two fifty, and I'm like, well, I'll just get this one for a dollar cheaper since it's the exact same thing. So I got myself this nice white Pyrex serving dish. I love it. Okay, so I uh, mentioned on my way home in this video that I picked up three bins because Brett needed a smaller one. 
and um, he took one. And it was like a half size of the Rubbermaid bins, but it was like half depth. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. And he's like, oh, that's perfect. I'll take that one. They All the ones that I purchased were $2.99 full price, including this one. So that was $2.99 full price. It's really cool. It's like a, like a crate. I'll definitely find something to do with that. I can never have too many bins, honestly. And the other one that I picked up was also $2.99. And it is this one. And it's got the those kind of doors on the top. Now, let's see what goodies await us inside. So I splurged on another thing for myself. So this is La Crusette or La, La Crusade, however you want to say it. Um, I don't have anything La Crusade. My mom has tons of it, but this is a, just a serving bowl, an oval serving bowl in that bright red color that they have. And it was $6.99 full price, but I was like totally worth it because this is minimum like 50, 40 or 50. So um, did I just see a crack? I'll die. No, it's not. Okay, it's fine. Um, yeah, so this is a 3.6 quart serving bowl. And it's got the sticker on a serving bowl made in Thailand, which is weird because it's French. But made in Thailand, they outsource. So I got myself a serving bowl. Next, I picked this up for Little Man. He doesn't have an Aqua Doodle, but he has similar things. So I thought this was great. It was $1.59 full price. And it's got the marker and like the little roller thing. I don't know but brand new in the pack and he'll, he can use those on tons of his stuff. So $1.59. Then for my adding machine in my office that I also picked up at a thrift store, I was looking for the paper, but they only sell massive rolls of paper, massive cases of this paper. And I was like, oh, I don't need that much. I'm barely going to use it, but it would be nice to have it. So I don't know. I found this for $2.99. There are nine rolls left. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the size. And it feels all like old, like vintage old. It really, really does. Um, so it's kind of cool. It's got that like old feeling. But anyway, uh, so there was 12 in here, but now there's nine. And I'm pretty sure the two and a quarter is the right size. So I picked that up for $2.99 for my adding machine. I'll still need to get ink, but. <laughs> then um, I got this bag of jewelry. That was $2.99, full price. But there's some cool stuff in here. Let me show you. They never did bags like this before, and I hope they keep doing it. Because I don't think they really look at what they're doing, which is good. Because this is the type of place that uses uh, metal tests for silver and gold and has a diamond tester and a loop and all of that stuff so if they're not paying that close attention cool all right so there's this um plastic yeah it's too light to be bakelite so this plastic bangle um somebody's hair and some foam okay it's got these earrings on them Oh, St. Patrick's Day earrings. Those are cute. It's cute. It's a little unicorn necklace. These two stretchy bracelets. This shell necklace. shell choker. This is a wooden bangle. That's nice. I actually like that. Uh, this is another bangle that's, I feel like it's missing, missing some, some of its stones and stuff. It's just a cheesy little one. Then this is wooden bead stretchy. $2.99. these fake gold hoops, which are actually very nice. Um, I have no idea what this is at all. None.
Wow. Bobble bar. $48. We got two fish, two shells, and we're missing one of the little blue mini hoops. $48. Bobble bar right here. The Smart Girl's Guide to Bobble Bar. Huh? Okay. Oh, gosh. There's a broken wooden bracelet in here, so there's wooden beads everywhere. Uh, oh, this. I would not be surprised if this is actually silver, but I don't think so. Whoa. So it's just a fake metal bangle. Are these funny earrings that's just missing one at the top. $2.99. Yes, thrift store, keep doing these bags. I say yes. Now, this one almost looked like a swatch, but I was like, no. Wow. Why does that say red watch band? That's weird. Unless that's like a brand, but I don't think so. Red watch band. Do you see that? Red watch band. So it's like a fake swatch. With little rhinestones in the corners. And the real reason why I bought this bag is because there was this watch in here that reminded me of my mom when I was younger. And it is this one. Now, this is, I'm pretty sure, a genuine leather band. Yeah, I think this is genuine leather, and it's actually, I think, from another watch. I'm not sure. But this is J.M. Jockmore. It's the little celestial watch. I feel like my mom had this when I was growing up, so it probably needs a battery, but whatever. I'm just going to throw it in her stocking as like a little nostalgic thing. I'm, I'm positive it needs a battery. Not probably. It needs a battery. Then I got this for little man, and I had a bunch to choose from, and I know he likes the ones that open and close, like the little travel wine ones, but... He used one at my cousin's house. We went to dinner a couple weeks ago when he wanted one of his own. So I was looking for him. Now this does, this is just open. It's not this clippy ones, which is kind of good. He won't play with it, but it, and it is from the Met. So that's superb. Um, and it was $1.59. So this is going to be little man's little drink cup that he just drink normally. Then I found these Converse for $4.99. I hope they fit him. They're like his size right now, right this second. So I hope they're not too small. We shall see. I was taking a gamble because he wasn't with me. But if they fit, that's an incredible purchase and they're adorable. So I knew what I was doing. Next, <clears throat> I show this in the walkthrough too. This art glass with a, it's done so well, you'd think it was from Murano. Um, and maybe it is, what do I know? But it's got a very smooth and clear Pontal Scar. It's amber, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it is engraved, signed, Chaz 69. So, oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. And it was 2.99. And uh, it's got a lot of inclusions, though, so I don't know if you, I guess you'd see it, maybe. Would you see the Numerano? I think so. But anyway, I just picked that up for $2.99 because it's amazing. Then I got this, the original Bed Buddy Microwave Heat Pack, Moist Heat for Aches and Pains. My husband is going to freak. I should save it and give it to him for Christmas. I should. And I'll just use it whenever. But that was $2.99. Nice and heavy. Totally put around your neck and shoulders. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Then, you see me toying with this during the walkthrough too. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. So it says 50, 50, let me point it the correct way. 58 there, 58 there. It's got this weird like lip pucker 
thing here. Is that a, I don't know what that is. Is that some weird pontal scar? I'm not really sure, but it's frosted. It's got gold paint detail and it's got gold paint detail on the crown shape and the rim two times. And I couldn't, it's just this gorgeous perfume bottle. Clearly they match, which is great. Um, and it's glass. And I couldn't tell if it was vintage or not. I, I honestly have no idea. I actually sent a picture to my mom to see if she had any idea. And she said, it's my guess, but I would say you're looking at 60s, 70s. But I don't know. Let me know if you know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm adding that to my collection. It was $2.99 and I think it's great. And I hope it's vintage. I hope it's not like 80s. I'm only into 80s when it's like true retro, my childhood, growing up, my video games, my Nintendo NES, um, boom boxes, cassette tapes, all of that. You you get it, right? You get you're picking up. But everything else I like to be older than the 80s if I can do it. So and I believe the very last item in this island thrift haul, and guys, I got two more hauls for you, so with walkthroughs, is this this Krebs Krebs box. All of them seem sometimes they have no idea what they're doing and I love them for it. A dollar ninety nine. Stop. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I don't think these are like old, old. First of all, there's a barcode on them, which lets you know right away they're not they're not old. Um, but I am a little sneaky sneak and I feel like somebody somewhere put ornaments like in their house that aren't from this box in here shall we take a look now one is missing its top so i will never know the world will never know yeah see and it, it fits way too tightly in here to be from this box so this beautiful one, it's just a solid green and it has no top. All right, let's see. All right, this has the K, so this is Krebs. All right, so we got that is Krebs, that is Krebs. <clears throat> that is Krebs and that matches, so that is Krebs. But guys, there are two, four, six, six and the green one without top that look like they do not belong for a dollar 99 i'm gonna bet it's gonna say west germany <clears throat> or roush let's see oh i was wrong it's usa so this is an old old shiny bright yes there's two of those and then this is probably from the same pack. Yep, made in USA. So that's an old shiny bright as well. And how about these two beauties? Shiny bright. <laughs> I knew it when I saw it. I was like, these are not old crabs and they're not new like that. All right, and this is also shiny bright. So we got two of these. Let me show you here. These uh, four silver ones here are crepes and belong to this box. This does not belong to this box. It's so big it barely fits in here and it's missing its top. Probably shiny bright the way things are going. Then we have two silver shiny brights that are like glitter snow capped and two almost almost rose gold or champagne-ish that have glitter they're glitter capped as well what is that and that's like sharpie but that's okay and then we have these shiny brights all for $1.99.
The Oni's happy. Okay. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this island thrift haul. And that was Medford, as you saw in the walkthrough. And I have, oh gosh, I have the hospital one for you. I have the church, barn, and house. And I have savers. Is that it? I think so. But anyway. All right. So you will see me very, very soon. Don't forget to let me know as always, what you think the deal of the day or the find of the day in general was and also anything you know about anything because I love it and you guys teach me. And also, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button already, I would love if you would consider doing so and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you and we do tend to have a lot of fun here. So until the next video, everyone, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.